Welcome to the weekly shear of the Zerah Shimshon. Should be a schusim for all the ladies that haven't had children yet, and all the to be merapi the choylim that need a refuah shlema. And we should all pray for the Mashiach to come b'mehir of Yameno. So this is Parsha by Yelech. I, I forgot to uh, make the. Uh, I was a little busy on Arab Shabbos. So this is Parsha by Yelech. It says, "Can there be too much forgiveness?" Seek Hashem when he can be found. Call out, and which is the, which is the Gemara says is our service in Etshuva. Call upon him when he is near. That is now. Let the wicked one forsake his way and the iniquitous man his thoughts. Let him return to Hashem, and he will show him mercy to our God, for he is absolutely um, abundantly forgiving. We're going to concentrate on the word abundantly forgiving here. The week of Parshas Vayelech is also frequently the week of Shabbos Shuvah. <clears throat> and on Tainus Sibur, we read this part of the uh, Yeshaya also. <clears throat> the, the Shabbos between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. So Chazal tells us that this Pasuk is about seeking Hashem where he can be found, it refers to this time between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. The Yafa Toyar asks, What do the words mean for he is abundantly forgiving? Is there such a thing as too much forgiveness? Or does it mean that if a person does five sins, he needs five sets of forgiveness? The answer is no. Doing tshuva once will result in Hashem forgiving the person for everything. So, what is the abundant forgiveness coming to tell us? The Roma from Fano writes that someone who commits a sin makes two mistakes. Okay, the first mistake is the wrong act which he committed, and the second mistake is the waste of time it entailed by committing them uh, that sin, <clears throat> because he could have been doing a mitzvah with the time would he used for wrongful purposes. Instead, he used it for sinning. The Mishnah Brewer also says this in uh, Hilchas, Hilchas Lashon Hora when it comes to speaking Lashon Hora. Instead of speaking Lashon Hora, he could have been speaking Divrei Torah at the same time. <clears throat> Furthermore, if he would have chosen to run away from the sin, that too would have been considered a mitzvah. And now that he didn't make that choice, he lost out on that opportunity as well. When a person decides to repent and has remorse for his evil actions, it means that he what he, that he's doing now. <clears throat> it means that he's doing now what he should have done in the first place when the evil inclination came along to entice him. At that point, he should have escaped as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, he didn't have the right choice. He didn't make the right choice. But at least he is trying to turn things around now by repenting. Yet even. <clears throat> <clears throat> after he repents for the sin that he did, he still has to worry about the indirect sin he committed when he took the time that could have been used for a mitzvah and used it for sinning instead. Now here's the problem. <clears throat> he can't repent for the wasted opportunity for one simple reason. Since he wasn't thinking about doing a mitzvah when the Yitzhahara came along, he has no idea what he would have done with the time that he had, that he, the time that he had not used it for sinning. Yet despite not being able to undo this, Hashem forgives him for this as well. So even though it's an omission, we'll call it, <clears throat> a sin of omission, he still gets forgiven for that as well. That is why the Pasuk makes a point of stating that Hashem is abundantly forgiven, forgiving. Not only Hashem forgives this person for the actual sin he did, but for which he did, not, did repent sincerely, but he is also willing to forgive him for not doing the mitzvahs he could have been doing at the time he committed the sin. And Hashem forgives him for this, even though he didn't repent properly, since he cannot possibly know exactly what to repent for. This is what the Pasuk means when he talks about extra forgiveness. Forgiveness for the actual sin and forgiveness for what could have been done instead. <clears throat> I heard a beautiful little word from Rabbi Ashir, <clears throat> That Rabbi Hoffman, Shlomo Hoffman, was in the early days of the Shivas Chevron, 
walking down the hall between Nisaris and Mechubin, he, he said um, he's feeling down because he didn't feel like he could do, f- 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 according to the Rambam, he, uh, to do complete tshuva as to it's that Hashem can testify that the man will never do the sin again. So he was feeling really depressed about this. It's so Rabbi, Rabbi uh, Cheskel Sarna said to him, well, we don't pass in like the Rambam in this case, we pass in like Rabbi Yaina, who says, if you put yourself in the right path, and you're doing tshuva already, then you should be happy, but then it's, accept, it's accepted, like the, like the, like the uh, Zerah Shimshon said. The minute you start going on the right path, you're even forgiven for things you didn't even think about doing, about not doing. So, so you said you should be happy, and it's a mitzvah to be happy even in a service made tshuva. So, that's the <clears throat> that's the Zerah Shimshon for this week, and a little bit extra. And now I have a a, a schooler.